Many businesses closed and thousands of Oregonians now out of work. There are a few industries actually thriving amid the coronavirus pandemic. Oregon cannabis sales have increased since the pandemic started. But it's not business as usual, as Ken Body shows us in this week's Where We Live. At Oregon's finest, a cannabis shop in Northeast Portland, the first thing you notice are the masks. They're made from t-shirt scraps. The idea behind the mask, of course, is that they don't prevent the, the virus, but they will help us with not touching our face. They're also wearing gloves, sanitizing constantly, and practicing social distancing. But it's not driving any business away. We did expect to, to slow down, um, but we actually have had quite the increase. They call Rita Coleman Sativa Rita. Our business has increased about 20 to 30 percent. Also, people are probably stocking up. They need um, they need their, their, you know, their medicine. One can argue whether recreational marijuana is an essential service. What you can argue is that cannabis has become a significant part of Oregon's economy. Cannabis is taxed at 17% by the state and 3% by local governments. In 2019, tax revenue to Oregon from recreational marijuana topped $102 million, rising significantly from the first full fiscal year of recreational marijuana sales in 2017. In all, the state has collected nearly $300 million in taxes since recreational marijuana became legal in the summer of 2015. It has really evolved, it's become really normalized. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty regular for folks to just come in and, and shop like they would at any retail shop. Oregon's Finest and other retailers are taking orders online now and doing deliveries. The Oregon Liquor Control Commission has also relaxed rules to allow for curbside pickup. It is a new way of doing business during a pandemic for an industry that's established deep roots and flowers in Oregon. Ken Body, Point Six News. Oregon's finest other location is in the Pearl District, and that was actually the very first state licensed recreational dispensary in Oregon. So there is a lot of history there. Now there are hundreds of dispensaries, of course, throughout the state in more locations even than Starbucks and McDonald's. 